Hello, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the Slow Mo Guys, and today we have a sprinkler. A little sprinkly boy. A little sprinkly boy that you'd probably find on the ceiling of a public place in there. Or in movies. Or in a movie, yeah. Most people have seen one of these go off, probably in a movie or in real life, if you've been slightly unlucky. Yeah. But not everyone knows exactly how they work. So with the use of these bad boys, this one and this one, we'll show exactly how they work in slow-mo. These are not light. Yes. I'll put them down now. Yes. <laughs> all right, Dan, how do these work then? Essentially, what happens is you got a fire in a room. Um, it's all burning hot. All the heat rises to the ceiling where your sprinkly boys are. What happens is this little glassy, juicy ampule here, the juice in the ampule expands due to the heat and that smashes the glass, which then lets the water flow through and hopefully douse the fire. And this particular one we've got here um, will hopefully explode at about 68 degrees C or 155 American things. Yeah. Yeah. Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, there you go. We'll start off here at a thousand frames a second in 4K before going a little bit faster to get that glass break. You got goggles. I have got goggles, yeah, I'll go, I'll put them on. Probably stick them on, yeah. Okay, we don't have a fire in the garden, so I'm just going to use this blowy. Oh, 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 jeez, it works very well. Damn. Flipping heck. Ah, the gas. That was quite shocking. Oh, it was. I wasn't <laughs> expecting it that quick. It made like a right popping sound. <laughs> it goes like, poof. <laughs> Damn. Oh, oh, it kicked back. You see the whole pipe go Yeah, up? it just like, it was like a gun going off. It's like a hell much. of a release. <laughs> <laughs> the way the hose is set up in the pipe, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, because it's so watertight, like there was a little bit of air in the tube. Yeah. So it went like, <laughs> and then it, then it went, ah, uh, okay, now we're good. Okay, now we're going for a cheeky top down. Sort of like ceiling view. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Say when I'm in position of the unfortunate fall in the fire, the only difficulty is I have this aiming the blowtorch away from the camera. And, come come and, in like this. Okay. Say when I'm aimed at it though, okay? You ready? Yep. Oh, the, whoa. oh no! All right. Whew. It's very shocking every time. It is every time. I can't help but like make a noise. I tried not to that time. Jogs around everywhere. So much air in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I feel like if you installed sprinklers, the, the fire would be fanned severely before All we right. put out. It's not my job, okay? Look, that's a really good one. You can see clearly that the, the like, fans of the, the sprinkler are causing that pattern of water to go out everywhere. Yeah, it's just the metal shape that causes such a wide spread. It comes out like in a nice torrent, and then it, it pees out everywhere to the sides. It's good design. So I didn't realise it's not just the glass ampule that goes. This is one that hasn't been fired, and this is one that has. When you look down this here, you can see there's a big hole where the glass ampule was. On this one, there's like a whole metal surface that is there. Oh. So I think the ampule actually like holds the metal surface in, and then when the ampule breaks, the like metal disc drops and allows the water through. Okay, for the next shot, we need a much higher frame rate. So we've borrowed this bad boy from Destin, the V2511. And uh, if you've seen this camera before, you'll know it has very loud fans. So, sorry about that. Okay, we're now looking around this area. 28,500 frames a second. You're gonna bag the camera because it could get a splash. Oh! gushes out there straight after the red goes and the red goes flying. Yeah, you can see the amount of force that blasts that thing down. <laughs> yeah, it's like a torrent of water after the glass ampule bursts. Yeah. It's like it pushes the little plate down and then it's like a full-on torrent that comes down. The, uh, the torrent is much wider, it's a much <laughs> thicker stream than I imagined. I thought it would be a much finer stream but it's like... <clears throat> So did I. I mean, we're learning about how these work, and like I showed you, the plate that sits there that the glass ampule breaks and lets loose just completely falls away and allows loads of water to come yeah. through. 
All right, now a much lower resolution. We're at 103,000 frames a second. Flip. Gets me every time. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's almost like the pressure burst it, but we know it's the the liquid heating up and expanding. And the red liquid comes out like sideways and then the torrent just goes downwards. So yeah. it's like two completely different you see the red has just come outwards completely, like it's that powerful a burst. Yeah. Whoa! Oh. A bit of air in the tube there. Yeah, a little bit of air. Just mystifying. Gosh. Yeah, it like geysered it, didn't it? Yeah. And it comes down in a steady, hefty torrent, man. Mm -hmm. It really kicks up. It like has a lot of recoil on it, doesn't it? Yeah. It's odd to see water moving that slowly. <laughs> so that's who's been eating my damn hammock. I think it is. He stood next to the evidence as well. Return to the scene of the crime, have you? Look at what you've done. It's pretty cute, though. I forgive him. Make an episode of Planet Earth here. All right, see ya. After feasting on the hammock, the possum leaves, leaving it in tatters. That was $79 down the drain. I think he's left some poo in the garden as well. It's not often that I actually get to uh, use a blowtorch and that causes me to get wet. That's true. Yeah. Also little sort of red, red speckles all over your face a little oh, bit. Oh, really? Yeah, I think you've got some of the glycerin. I don't think that's good. That's not, probably bad. Not ideal. I think it's like not lead free. I like videos like that. I like it where you sort of learn it. You can visualize exactly how it works. And now I'll never look at them the same way. I can put on the smug voice if anyone tries to ask me. I'll be like, no, actually, I think you'll find <laughs> it's the ampule of glycerin causes the ampule expansion. Ampule is a great word. It's underused. Ampule. Yeah. And now, because you've experienced five explosions of glass ampules, mm. you'll be less shocked if they go off for real. I don't think I will be. No, you won't. I definitely Based won't be. Based on today's video. Oh, 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 oh. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Feel free to bung us a subscribe. That probably doesn't do anything. Hit the bell as well if you want. That might. Uh, we've also got social media and a second channel. Links in the description. Thanks for watching.